It is Friday, which means it's fight day. Today we have one of the most requested fights. Almost every video someone requests this. I think it's an easy pick, and I know it's an easy pick, but we're going to break it down just to appease the masses. So this week we've got Barry Allen's Flash against Quicksilver from Marvel Comics. Let's start with the Flash. The Flash has access to something in the DC Universe called the Speed Force. And this is basically a kind of extra dimension that has this energy and it allows speedsters, so not just the Flash, but anyone with kind of superhuman speed to tap into that to travel quickly. Uh, and the Flash, Barry Allen, is probably the most skilled at tapping into the Speed Force and he actually generates this energy every time he takes a step. So he is not only tapping into it to use it, but he is creating it. The Speed Force is also kind of confusing in that it's an actual place that you can go to. And so Barry Allen will go into the Speed Force and he is one of the only people to ever come out. So most people, if they get trapped in the Speed Force, they are there for good. In terms of how fast the Flash is, he can go not only past the speed of sound, light, uh, he can go, you know, he can break the barrier of the Speed Force. He can travel through time with how fast he is. So he can travel to other dimensions, other realities, because he is that fast. While on this planet, he can travel faster than Mach 10, but at that sort of speed, it actually hurts the world. That it could damage the landscape, it could tear continents apart, uh, so he does not like to travel faster than that, at least on Earth. His superhuman speed also gives him a couple other abilities like accelerated healing, incredible reflexes, and the ability to vibrate so fast that he can kind of become intangible and either objects can pass through him or he can travel through objects. Now let's compare this to the character of Quicksilver. Quicksilver uh, formerly was a mutant, but now it's kind of come out that he is an experiment uh, kind of created by the high evolutionary and it's believed that he's not really a mutant at all. His ability is also super speed, but as far as I know, it's only been shown to go as fast as breaking the speed of light and sound. So I haven't seen Quicksilver do any sort of time travel uh, or dimensional travel with his speed. I could be wrong on that, so tell me if I'm wrong on that. He does go fast enough that he can create a temporal disruption, like a version of himself uh, as a distraction. So there can, he can leave like a almost like a aftershock of himself while he goes and does something else. Um, but it's not permanent. Uh, it's not really time travel. It's just fast enough to create a mirage like an aftershock. He has been shown to vibrate fast enough to phase through objects, but he tends to use his vibrations uh, to destroy other objects. So he'll, you know, vibrate so fast to destroy a wall or do something like that is how he tends to do it. So now this is where I need your help. I want you in the comments to go down there and tell me uh, examples of when The Flash did something awesome and when Quicksilver did something awesome. Tell me what they've done and what you think would happen when these two cross paths. I think I know the answer. I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% sure I know the answer, but we want to settle this once and for all. Uh, and as a stipulation, we are competing in a world where the Speed Force exists, uh, because an easy answer would be like, well, if they're in the Marvel Universe, Flash has no speed, Quicksilver wins. So we are competing in a place where they both have access to super speed. So what do you think would happen? Let me know in the comments. And now let's talk about last week's fight. So last week we had Cyborg versus the Winter Soldier. What could possibly happen when these two cross paths? Let's go to the comments. Silver Chicken 20 says this, if I'm not mistaken, Cyborg has a mother box inside of him, making it possible to hack pretty much anything he chooses. With that ability, I think he has a clear advantage on the Winter Soldier, essentially making his arm useless or even a hindrance during a fight with Cyborg. The victory goes to Vic Stone. So almost all the comments came out in support of Cyborg. Uh, Winter Soldier is skilled, no doubt, but Cyborg, his ability to shapeshift, his ability to create weaponry, uh, and just the level of his technological advancements puts him at an advantage. Uh, the big question of could Winter Soldier drop an EMP that could shut Cyborg down was kind of refuted in a couple ways. The one, he would have to get close enough to Cyborg, which is unlikely. The second thing that makes that not really matter is that Cyborg can restart. And he's been shown to, after an EMP restart, so Winter Soldier would only have, if he gets close enough, a short window to do something. So the odds are really in favor of Cyborg. So that's who's getting the big W. So that's it for this week. We'll see you next week on Comic Fights.